Okay, two parts to this video it is. So by lunch, um, or after lunch, I'd say, you know, lunch usually um, I'm blessed enough to, um, to have with, uh, with my wife. And um, love, 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 love that time. And, um, you know, for those of you that don't have a significant other that you can say that about, um, you know, I recommend working on it, <laughs> right? Um, but, the, the, you know, I'm a, I, I recognize that not everybody's in that position, but, you know, and, and I recognize that, that privilege that I have. So, so, yeah, lunchtime, usually with the wifey. Dinner time, um, again, usually with the wifey. And um, I'll either take an evening walk or do some, some type of exercise. Recently, I've been doing strength training. So if you add that up, that's probably like three hours, two to three hours of waking life. You know, if we're awake 16 hours a day, two to three hours, although it, it sounds a lot, you know, just said like that, three hours. If I, if I was just to lead in with this video and say, you need to start spending three hours a day on your well-being or else you're screwed. That's kind of daunting, right? But the way I said it, right, when you split it up, I think to the average person, um, it's more it's more digestible, right? If, if you split it up into 15, 20 minute chunks like this, and obviously in the evening, you're doing an hour. We, I usually do about an hour, hour and a half strength exercise in the evening. Um, it's way more manageable. And I think it's, um, it's a prerequisite, guys. And I wish I would have started this in my 20s. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so, and that's, that's incredibly important. If you, if you don't have some structure like this where you're giving back to yourself, where you're doing some some type of physical activity that you enjoy, right? Because I cannot do strength exercise that I can't enjoy. Like I'm not one of these guys that can just go by themselves to a weight room and just start lifting dumbbells and bench pressing and I just think I'm like on top of the world. That's not me. Some people, it is that. You know, some people, <laughs> I have people in my family actually that um, they're very much like that. They're just natural gym rats, right? I'm not one of them. I think the average person probably isn't isn't one of them. But I challenge people to find ways that you can enjoy to get physical. Whether it's walking, you know, my 15, 20 minute walks, I love them. I love being out in nature just like this. Um, you know, skiing, it, could, it doesn't have to be, you know, and, and part of this is wherever you're at, whatever your socioeconomic status, don't let that be a barrier for you taking care of yourself. You know, just because, you know, you're you're falling on hard times doesn't mean you can't spend, you know, even an hour in the day to um from for 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 you know to walk to take a walk to to give back to yourself. That's something that I think um in the lower economic um, kind of brackets of this country, me having been there at one point, um you kind of have this mentality like, oh, that's not for me. That's for people that are more wealthy. Well, you can snap out of it. You can make the decision. You can you can wake up one day, make the decision. That's not me anymore. That's not my story. I'm giving back to myself. I'm putting myself first. Health is wealth, folks. What good is making a million dollars? What good is making a hundred million dollars if you're if you're if you don't have habits that can sustain you and you can feel great about growing that wealth, growing that business, growing that job. Incredibly important, right? This is just free content that I think um, in my heart, um, I think the world would be great. The world is better served by by hearing this and, and um, you know, me me included. You know, I, I have to, some, at some point, sometimes I, um, I allow myself to just stay in for you know, too long in the house and, and get off track of these, um, get off track of these routines that I, that I kind of broke down earlier. Um, but I get back on like pretty quickly because I know what's happening. So I encourage you guys to, um, to try new things and really meditation is huge. Any kind of meditation doesn't have to be special. And take inventory of how you're feeling when you're doing a certain activity and if you feel great 
hint, hint. That's that's where you that's where you want to focus your time. That's where you want to hone in. Um, and me, I happen to you know that happens to be like being outside for me, um, speaking to people I love, being around the company of people I love, and um, you know rocking out. Dancing is huge too. I love dancing. I'll dance shamelessly in a in a grocery store, you know. Um, but yeah, so just some thoughts for you guys. Um, let me know if this resonates with anybody. If anybody has any plans, you know, we're in February, right? So this move this year is moving really quickly. So think about what you know what 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 can you do? What have you done the last month of 2024? And what can you do moving forward to make this the best year of your life? Let me know. Put it in the comments. I'm interested to know um, what different what different people's backgrounds are, and how people are planning to make this um, a great year. With that, I will leave you from the beautiful western suburbs. Bye, guys.